Hello guys, welcome to Sigar Mikas. So this is my 8th video lecture on G plus 6 RCC building design. So in, in my previous video, I have designed the column using Star Pro. So the design of beam and detailing part I'll be covering in this video. So once your column design is done, you're, you have already mentioned the design brief of your column and your beam. So you just need to go to this option, select beam and just click on design number now so just click on concrete member once you click on concrete member select beam column we have already designed so just click on beam design design now so once you click on design now it, the beam will be designed so the design of beam is done so let's check if some beams are failing no all the beams are passing since it is showing green color so just go to the uh, report setup so that we can get the uh, detail of beam so member details design group summary then main steel summary main reinforcement bar you can take the data as per your uh, requirement design details so just take few details so just click on ok now you can print the pdf of design so just click on ok it will start printing the pdf of your beam design so in, in, in my previous video i have uh, uh, designed the column and in this video i'll be showing showing the design of beam once the design is done we will get into the detailing part so let's get the output so your beam output has been printed so let's get into that output this is getting printed so by the time it get printed i'll just explain few things like when you are designing this beam please make sure that in the design brief so if you're designing a beam so for beam you have to select beam brief if you are selecting column brief then it will design the beam will also be designed as column so while selecting the brief while selecting the design brief you please make sure that you select the beam brief for beam design column brief for column design so that there won't be any issue during designing so now your design output is ready so you can see that it's almost 1900 pages for your beam design so many pages are because the members the beams the number of beams are they, there we have so many beams so how to make it simple like if if we are designing all this if we are detailing all these beams like uh, almost uh, on each floor let's say it, it is having almost 60 70 beams so 70 into 7 g plus 6 so 7 floors so almost 500 beams so we are not give, going to give the detailing of each and every 500 beams so what we do for simplicity we we design typical like floor beams like if we have these floors like floor from floor o, g1 g plus 1 up to fifth floor fifth floor the floor of sixth floor or the slab of fifth floor so those are typical floors those floors have same loading so for same loadings the de beam design will be same so while while detailing the beam we will be just segregating like we will be designing a detailing plinth beam then we we can have typical beam detailing then we can have a roof beam detailing because because your we, why we are having typical floor beam detailing because these are the typical floors typical floors we have similar loadings we have same geometry of the beam same design of the beam so the most critical beam among the all of the typical floors will be designed and that will be given under detailing part so like if, if this beam so for example if this beam we are designing for this floor so we can have this beam on all the floors like first floor second floor third floor fifth fourth floor fifth floor up to sixth floor level so this so if you 
so if you're designing let's say this beam so this beam will be similar for all the beams so we, we will be designing single typical floor beam like for the typical floor beam and we can replicate those beam while the execution like so, so we, we will design this beam we will provide the detailing of this beam and this beam detailing will be replicated here and this 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 and this this beam is a, a, a roof level beam the loading on this beam is comparatively less with comparatively less than this beam so the design of this will be this beam will be different than this beam so we will be providing separate detailing for this beam this plinth beam also we can have separate loading because plinth beam because the plinth beam is also resting on ground and there might be possibility that your first floor your ground floor having different height and these are typical floors having different height let's say the ground floor the floor floor, floor to floor height is 4 meters and typical floor we have kept 3.5 or 3.2 meters so based on the floor to floor height these the loading the dead load the dead load on these beams are uh, acted so based on the typical floor height so so this is regarding why we how to reduce the design of number of beams like how we we we, we cannot de design each and every beam we cannot detail each and every beams because it is very difficult while execution also to keep an eye on each of the beams so we can just have a typical floor beam we have a plinth level beam and we have a roof level beam a column because a columns we have uh, identical columns and columns we have we have very differentiated columns all the columns having different loads so we can also segregate the number of uh, columns based on the size of the column so like these these two column this column and this columns based on the symmetry these two columns seems symmetrical and identical so we can number them as c1 or c2 or c3 or c a b c so we can also segregate we can also reduce the number of columns and thus we can reduce the amount of uh, work we can make it easy and simple so hope hope you just understood why we we, we how, how we are making this design simple like how we are segregating so these things these these things should be taken care during modeling stage itself like if this beam is a let's say this beam is c1 so c1 if we are using 700 by 400 size so you can use c1 this also same size so while designing this stat pro will give you the design so based on that design you can prepare the detailing so column design was uh, taken care in last video this video is regarding beam design so we will just go to the de detail design output so we have used beam to 230 width by 600 depth we have used most of the places we have used almost everywhere we have we have used 230 width 600 mm depth so uh, this dimension of this cross section beam we have all the beams are passing with this cross section dimension so if you want to optimize your design you can you can reduce the size of the beam and try one more iteration if if uh, if you're trying for 500 you can try 500 to 30 by 500 and you can check if all your beams are passing then you can use 230 by 500 so this way you can just optimize your design so this is regarding the size of the beam so we have just to make the uh, tutorial simple we are just using a single dimension you can have multiple dimension you can have a multiple iteration you can have uh, opti multiple optimization iteration so you can do it but to make it simple we are just proceeding with a single iteration with whatever design the uh, stat pro software is giving so this is the main steel summary bottom layer 
top layer the reinforcement area of reinforcement so area of reinforcement they are giving so we can just divide it by uh, the bar area single bar area we will get number of bars so this will help us to make the schedule so similarly how we have uh, you, we have checked the manual design calculation for uh, column here we have we are checking the manual design calculation of beam so bar spacing this much smallest actual horizontal bar so stat pro has designed the actual neutral axis depth of section neutral axis depth beam design as singly reinforced beam then section beam this is the uh, section at 5.2 hogging moment applied to section these moments are directly coming from stat analysis this is the effective depth include effective depth is your overall depth minus your cover then your depth to comp compression reinforcement this is your depth to comp depth of to the compression the required tension area still the area required in tension tension bar provided we are providing six bar, six bar six, three bars 16 mm dia ast 603 minimum area of ten tension reinforcement as per clause uh, 26.5.11a is 456 this is the minimum area and this is the maximum area so we have provided 603 which is between your minimum and maximum that means your beam design is okay so these are the bar spacing calculated as per clause of is 456 26.3.2 so this is the design so you can check the beam design you can for for your uh, for more clarity you can take take the forces from stat pro like stat analysis you can take the reaction of this beam so if you can just i have already explained how to take the how to design manually so you can just take the reaction of this beam and you can design this beam manually and you can compare the result with this output from stat pro so for better understanding you can do this iteration so i have tried to make the videos simple so that you can easily learn so in our in our future videos we will try to increase the level of a problem difficulty level of difficulty in the problem so these are very simple tutorials so that you can learn easily how to use stad pro how to design structures in stad pro so in in future videos we will If you, we will uh, we will uh, try to take more complicated problems for expert level tutorials so these these are basic level tutorials those who are uh, very new to stat pro those who are very new to structural engineering so for those people these tutorials will be very helpful so if you guys guys have any any doubt if you guys have any uh, uh, suggestions regarding these loads regarding these designs please uh, please comment so that we can we can try and clarify your comments and we can try to uh, cover those comments during our loads so this was regarding the beam design of your g plus 6 rcc buildings next we will be talking about we will be explaining the detailing of the structure like detailing of how to prepare the beam schedule how to prepare column schedule how to prepare sh uh, slab schedule so hope hope you 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 have uh, you you have uh, understood up till this video lecture this this was eighth video lecture so next we will be coming up with detailing video on g plus 6 rcc building so thank you take care have a nice day and please uh, do subscribe my channel and keep sharing our videos so that we can we can get motivated and we can upload more and more videos thank you once again